Inking requires concentration. Therefore, you should make sure your posture is correct. Don't slouch over your drawing board. Sit up straight. Ruling lines with your brush is far more difficult than using a pen, but the results are usually worth it. Just hold the ruler at about a 45 degree angle and run your brush along it like this. By varying the pressure of your brush, you can make lines of any thickness. Lines ruled with a brush are not as stiff as those made with a pen. Actually, they tend to have more character. Become equally adept at both pen and brush. The brush requires more time to master, but if you use a pen exclusively, your finished drawings may seem stiff and lifeless. Now, these examples of brushwork are called feathering. Notice how some strokes go from thin to thick. They're all done with the same brush, merely by varying the pressure you use. In case you're wondering, John is using a Windsor Newton number no. three sable hair brush. Same brush, different effect. John is now using the side of the brush rather than the tip. This is a very helpful technique for inking hair on a character's head, for example. Experiment with your tools. Search for different effects. Use anything imaginable to get the effect you need. Open your mind. That's what art is all about.